on today we'll be looking at new B660 motherboard. This is a new Asus Prime B660M A Wi-Fi D4 designed for new Intel 12th generation CPUs. Good morning and welcome to Tech Interceptor. First of all, remember to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell to stay up to date on upcoming video and if you want take a look at our Twitter and Instagram profile. As anticipated at the beginning, this new first contact, we are going to discover the new Asus Prime B660M A Wi-Fi D4. This motherboard is just one of many B660 boards available on the market. You can find the complete roundup list of the new boards in the description. Starting from the box, we find of course the motherboard Susata 6GB to second cable, one Asus Wi-Fi moving antennas, one IU Shield, one M2 rubber package, one M2 SSD screw package, the support DVD and the user guide. The B660 board in question is a micro ATX form factor and the measure 24.4 cm for 24.4 cm. The board presented a VRM layout feature 6 plus 2 power faces that guarantee the maximum power and efficiency. It's covered by two silver metal heat sink with thermal pads at the upside and at the left of the CPU socket. In addition, there is another that cover one M2 slot. As all new B660 boards, it features Intel 1700 socket that support the 12th generation Intel Core i9, i7, i5, i3, Intel Pentium Gold and Intel Celeron CPUs. The motherboard is equipped with 4 DDR4 DIMM sockets, dual channel memory architecture that support 42GB single DIMM capacity up to a maximum of 128GB for 4 DIMM. It supports DDR4 from 2133MHz to 3200MHz to 5333MHz in overclocking. Regarding the header of the motherboard in upside from the left, there are one 8-pin ATX 12V power connector for the CPU, one CPU fan header and one CPU fan optional header. After going down on the right side, there are two addressable Gen 2 header, 24-pin ATX main power socket connector, one USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-C front panel connector, one USB 3.2 Gen 1 header, two SATA 6GB to second ports, and SPI TPM header. In the bottom of the motherboard there are system panel header, another two SATA 6GB to second ports, one addressable Gen 2 headers, one Aura RGB header, USB 3.2 Gen 1 header, USB 2.0 header, clear CMOS header, LPT or line printing terminal, COM port header, SPDIF out header, and front panel audio header. Finally, in the middle, there is one fan header. The storage option includes four SATA 6GB to second ports and two M2 slots, support type 2200, 42, 2260, 2280 storage devices at PCI Express 4.0 for 4 mode. As an expansion slot, the motherboard feature three PCI Express, one PCI Express 4.0, 3.0 for 16 slots. One PCI Express 3.0 for 16 slot support for full mode and one PCI Express 3.0 for 16 slot support for one mode. On back in the IO panel we find firstly one display port, two HDMI ports, one PS2 mouse keyboard combo port, two USB 2.0 ports, 2 USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports, 
Ethernet port and our two USB 2.0 ports, Wi-Fi 6 ports and audio jacks including line in, line out and the microphone port. And now we talk about of prices. The motherboard is available on retail at price of about 160 US dollar or 180 euros at the time of making this video. As always, let me know what you think in the comments below and if you find this video helpful then leave a like, share it with your friend and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, see you again next time.